Hi, this is David Gawley from Pentagon Solutions and I'd like to take a look at AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010. But specifically, I'd like to look at bringing in some survey data from an SDR, uh, converting it to Fieldbook, bringing it into our tool space through our survey, um, creating a network, triangulating the data and creating an alignment and a corridor from it. So really going from field to finish. So the first thing I want to do with my SDR file is I want to um, use my survey data collection link to convert this to Fieldbook. So I'm going to go to conversions. I have this file on my desktop. There's the survey SDR. I'm going to output it as a Fieldbook. Again, my desktop. I'm going to call it survey. I'm going to hit convert. The conversion was successful. So what I'm going to do is go into my tool space and I'm going to create a new local survey database. So this is really the process from scratch. I'm going to call this sample 2 and I've got my sample 2 um, survey database in here. So with that I'm going to actually import some survey data. I'm going to create a new survey database. Again I'll call this sample 2. So I give it a new name sample three actually, and uh, we're going to hit next. And basically I make the decision whether it's going to be a fieldbook file, land XMX file, land XML file, point file, or points from an individual drawing. But we've got the fieldbook file. Um, I'm going to bring this in from my desktop. And let's go to next. We can create a new network from this. So um, for this, I'm just going to call this local survey. We can give it a description, but I'm going to hit okay. And next. In here we have all those various options. Um, I do have configuration done to my current um, prefix database, which you'll see why later on. And also any um, sample um, uh, line work code that we might use in here. Well, again, I'm gonna select finish on that, and you'll see the network will actually be created. So the field book is being important now. Um, it takes a bit of time coming in. I've got a lot of data on this one. You see simple road alignment but the interesting thing about this is there are a couple of mistakes I'm going to have to edit that was created on the survey so I'm going to delete out that network in the background but you can see I'm using various description keys in here my language code set to come in exactly as expected so my hedges are coming in exactly as expected and this would be quite um, similar um, to the likes of MX I mean this would be a similar um, coding to the likes of um, Bentley MX as it comes in so, I mean, if I do want to edit the data, I don't need to go back and edit the raw SDR file. Um, I can actually do this in the fly in uh, Civil 3D, so I can edit the geometry. Say we could break the insertion point here, get the geometry down at the bottom. Again, I could break it out, select it, and simply erase the data out there. So, we can still do perform various bits and pieces of editing. Um, but all my buildings, my hedges, my walls, my points have come in exactly as expected. So here's one of my survey edited. I did a wee bit of editing late, earlier on and it's coming in as, as expected. And of course we've got the annotation scaling control in here um, that actually ties in perfectly to this as well. So if I was taking this forward to my design, um, what I want to do is go to my tool space on Prospector and I create a surface of this. I'm going to call this existing ground. I'll keep it as triangulation and I'm going to add in my field book points. So I'm going to add it in as a group. There's my field book and hit OK. It's triangulated. Again I can add in my break lines as well. So I can add in my break lines with my sample in there. I'm just going to select all the objects for the sake of demonstration. And of course, being Civil 3D, being style based and object orientated, we can actually just change this out, the surface style out there. And that is our surface being applied. So if I take a quick profile of that, again, being dynamic profiles, this is my profile across my road to um, my embankment area. So I would take this design forward and um, I'm going to have a look at this a corridor model. So say we've got a realignment on this road here. This is my design. This is my vertical alignment for my road or vertical curve that I've actually put in. 
Um, many of you have probably seen the features of Civil 3D before, um, but this particular uh, tutorial is focusing on survey data. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my corridor based on my center load road alignment, again based on my vertical curve, based on my actual design that I want to use, and I'm going to set my targets to my existing ground. Okay, so I get my corridor model in. But I might want the bus lane in here. This is a sawtooth bus um, lane that would commonly be used when you're tight for space. So I'm going to simply move the polyline geometry. I'm going to bring this over to the edge. So if I put it there, and let's just rotate that round into position. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pick up my corridor model, go to my properties, and I'm going to set the target here. So if I click on my target for my right hand path, I'm going to select the feature from the drawing. Um, and we can hit OK. But what we can do now, when we go back out, we might want to change the frequency. So we might want to add change points in. Because I want the actual target lines, again I'm just going to put my nearest on here. I'm going to pick various chain points along here. So it will pick up more accurately on the curve. Just going to click a few points. Again we could type these in. I'll pick right back to here. Hit enter and OK. Of course, because I want to actually get a surface in against this, I'm going to add in my surface against my crown. And we need to tell it what boundary to go to, which will of course be our daylight. And if we had a plan OK, we can see our surface, our sawtooth laying in there. We can change the surface properties. Triangulation, say the 1 and 5 meters, or 0.1 and 0.5. And we're actually getting our surface in there. So if we had a look at that in our object viewer, we'll see the surface for our sawtooth bus lane. So all the information has come from survey um, to the alignment to finish in there. So it is very, very easy to bring in survey data into Civil 3D. And of course you have the benefits of working with um, dynamic modeling. Thanks for your time.